everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite Decepticon Danny and today I'm looking at the Megatron from the Transformers Select Generations line. It is the G2, unreleased G2 uh, repaint. So yeah, this is a G2 uh, paint that never came out as he is the G2 insignia on his uh, arm there. So yeah, he is a repaint of this Transformers. Former uh, Megatron from Wave One of the Siege line, so that is very cool. But you know they didn't do same weapons and everything except a new head sculpt. So we'll show inserts of that as we go on with this video. But yeah, I mean I would have preferred to have the purple and green, you know, original G2 colors for this Megatron. But this is pretty awesome in itself, um, unreleased. And yeah, he has the backpack as usual. But it would be really cool. I bet this figure will get tons of repaint. So yeah, this is the box it came in. Pretty plain uh, shoe box style box. But uh, yeah, that says war. <laughs> and yeah, that says war <laughs> in Cybertronian. And I did not look that up. I learned that from the Transformers Slag podcast. So they have a really cool podcast if you haven't... Uh, seen it or heard, watch or heard it it's on youtube um yeah it's definitely a really cool transformers podcast if you do listen to that transformers podcast let me know because yeah i'm a huge fan uh yeah so this <laughs> is the generation select megatron has the same transformation comes with the same weapons but it is a fantastic figure it is a cool figure megatron being one of my favorite decepticons ever growing up i idolized him i idolized him i know he his plans never really went through in the original cartoon but yeah he was definitely one of the coolest bad guys i ever knew him and his whole team Star Scream and everyone, you know, it was just definitely a cool dynamic, and yeah, I love this figure. <laughs> like I said, they'll probably repaint this figure a bunch. We'll probably get the uh, purple and green that we know so well, but hey, unreleased G2 figure, I'm all over it. I love my G2, I love my colors, I love my Transformers of all colors, <laughs> and yeah, and Megatron is so cool. I'm so pumped on this figure. We'll definitely get some close-ups going and check out the transformation and yeah this is a you know pretty awesome repaint um it's not for everyone of course but i really enjoy it i love these ones i'm excited to see what else generation transformer selects has to, to bring out this year but yeah let's get right into this figure and yeah stick around for that outro video all right let's check out uh, megatron war for cybertron select version I do like this uh, box. It's a simple box, but it's cool. It comes with like the spray paint on it, and I can see maybe why they wanted to cut down on uh, you know paying uh, artists and stuff so they can get these figures out there. So it's pretty cool. It does. It says war on the box, like I said, for war for Cybertron. Open it up, and you have the little Megatron inside. No card or anything included, and yeah, Megatron, the G2 unreleased version. I love this white. I love this new head sculpt. The paint, like I said, I definitely would prefer the purple and the green, but hey, they do a pretty good job with this guy, and I really, it's different. <laughs> Let's snip him out, their old snippety snap, comes with the same weapons, the sword, and yeah, the same old though fusion cannon, if I can get it out there, so yeah, same stuff, only different mold was the head, so yeah, very cool, get Megatron out there and get our little paws on him, our little hands. And yeah, he's basically just like the Siege one, but yeah, this head sculpt is way better. I mean, no, the other one's good for what it is for G1 accuracy, but this is cool. I love the red eyes. And yeah, very cool. The little button panels there. Um, the original figure has a bit more detailing and painting, but hey, what can you do? He has the same 360 arm swivel. <laughs> Get his arms right around. Let's make him work out. Knees bend perfectly. He can kick soccer balls with the best of his mind. <laughs> and yeah, he has an... Uh, Knees turn up there, and yeah, you put the fusion cannon on his arm. That's definitely dope. <laughs> yeah, very cool figure. Loving him right out of the packaging. Um, yeah, I hope we get the purple and green recolor. That'd be perfect, but he is very cool, very poseable, just like the original counterpart. You can blast with him. Fusion cannon blast. Decepticons. And yeah, he is a very cool figure. I just love looking at him. I love holding him. <laughs> Does have that big old backpack like the original. But <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> kind of like a rocket backpack. But once again, that head sculpt is fantastic. He just looks so evil. It's Megatron. He's mega. <laughs> and yeah, he's just so awesome. I'm gushing over him. 
Uh, the you know the white really pops the red pops on him the green looks pretty cool it's an unreleased G2 figure love that G2 symbol on his arm as you can see it a little closer here he is the G2 insignia on his arm which looks amazing it says Megatron right on his chest just in case you didn't know who he was <laughs> does he have a resume mate does he have a resume but yeah he looks fantastic love this figure gushing with the sword yeah I like him kind of with more without the sword but hey I love him and yeah I think it's about that time to dance Hey, thank you for sticking around and watching this video. You know, I highly appreciate it. I love this Megatron. I love Megatrons. You know, they're just so fun to collect. And definitely this robot mode is fantastic. The tank mode's a little iffy as always, but the robot mode is where this figure shines. And I love that new head sculpt. Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for being here. Um, tons of stuff. I'm working on so many things right now. And yeah, also with the health. And I've been working actually at work a ton of hours lately. So I am kind of burnt, but not burnt out from it. I'm just... It's a, you know, everything is happening so quickly, and yeah, I just want to make more content and feel better. Um, they decrease my meds, so you know what? Every day I'm trying to feel a little bit more energy, and we'll see how things go. Keep everyone posted, definitely as we hit that uh, 1,300 subscribers. More giveaways to come than that, and yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Um coming up for the channel so thank you for being here thank you for supporting as always and yeah stay strong stay safe stay positive and this dolphin might even catch you in cybertron y'all goodbye